What's going on, guys? I'm a little tired. Three overtime game. Wizards beat the Suns. This is a win the Wizards, you know, they needed to, to feel good. Last couple games against the Hawks, against the Rockets, it wasn't looking good. This Suns team, just despite what the record may say, they was on a win streak. They just beat the Boston Celtics. Okay? Wizards didn't have John Wall. Still didn't have Otto Porter. They were down two starters. Three, count Dwight, but me not, me not counting him. And, you know, they, they found a way to dig deep. 50-plus minutes, dig deep and get the win. You know, Kelly Oubre came back, returned home. Duh, he, he, he had some, some good plays, some good threes. Had some good defense on Brad at the, I think it was the end of regulation. <laughs> or the first overs, I don't remember. But, you know, the play where Brad tried to dribble to his right. And Kelly caught him and the ball got pent on his arm. That play. Um, let me talk about Oubre for a little bit. Oubre, he, he started off shooting back from the field, but he made some important threes during the course of the overtimes. And he, he still has a lot of potential. And that's what's good for the Suns if they want to keep him. He has a lot of, he still has a lot of growth to do. And I hope he can successfully, you know, reach his max potential with a team like Phoenix, a young team. You know, they all can come up together. Phoenix chooses to um, re-sign him, and, and that's good. I hope he continues his success there. I love Kelly Oubre. I love his effort. I love his energy. You know, so sorry they had to spoil the win for you, buddy, but you keep doing your thing in Phoenix, man. You're looking good. You're young. I, I really hope you, you do good. I really do. I want to see you, you balling out, bro. But let's get on to Thomas Bryant. Now, guys, I know the cool thing is the, you know, hashtag fire Ernie. And it's still that. But we got to get a man some props. You know, he found Thomas Bryant. He did. He picked him up. You know, Lakers ain't won him. They won a Zubat. And Wizards got Bryant. And he ain't missing a shot tonight. He tying franchise records. He about to almost up there with Wilt. 30 in 10 game. You know, people want to say, oh, three overtimes. That's besides the point. Who cares? He went up against DeAndre Ayton, the number one pick, and balled out. Ayton fouled out. Brian didn't. I mean, so give my man some props. You know, he was banging down low with Ayton, man. That's a top prospect. Brian was a second round pick. I don't care what nobody say to try to discredit what he did. He balled out against an NBA team. Y'all acting like he was playing, he was playing, um, like he was playing Merlin or something, University of Merlin. Dude playing NBA level talent. Dude's just looking at the, the Suns record and trying to discredit him. Like the Suns wasn't hot coming into the game. But this is why Scott Brooks needs to keep giving this man minutes. Wizards fans have all been saying this I don't know since how, I don't know how long, but they have been saying this. Play Thomas Bryant. He keeps giving Markeith Morris all these minutes. You see, when Markeith Morris came out the game and Thomas Bryant came in the game, when Morris fouled out, because that's the only reason this happened. But let's not forget, Scott Brooks wouldn't have played Bryant if he didn't have to. He had to. Because Morris fouled out. And sometimes it takes a thing like that to, you know, unleash the beast. Give the man minutes. Let him work. You know what I mean? And, and that's what's been pissing Wizards fans off with Scott Brooks. He will not continue to give this man minutes. He's improving. Yes, he's not a starter right now, but he's young. Let him let him work. Let him develop his game in game. Stop putting Markeith Morris in at the five to throw lazy inbounds passes and get dunked on. Yes, he had 20 points. But okay, there's more to a basketball game than just points. I mean, the dude, not good defensively. He not good on the boards. He lazy. Bring the energy guy in there. 
And you look what he do. He put in work. When Brad need him, when Sado need him, when Jeff Green needs some, when they need somebody to step up, when Brad was in trouble, when Sado was in trouble, when they miss a, when they ain't make a shot, Brian was there. Because I can promise you, Marquise Morris wouldn't have been. A lot of them putbacks would not have been made. And I'm going to tell you this. If Marquise Morris didn't foul out, the Wizards wouldn't have won this game. I'm sorry, and that's a fact. But that's my thoughts on Thomas Bryant. But also, let me say this. Tomorrow in Indianapolis, <laughs> I would be very surprised if Bryant got increased, increased minutes. I would be very surprised. Don't be surprised if you see Marky Morris drawn back in there, getting crushed by Miles Turner, and same old, same old. Because Scott Brooks don't like to change things until he absolutely, absolutely needs to. But that's besides the point. Markeith Morris, he's an undersized five. But when you're undersized, you got to play with effort. You know, they say Draymond Green's undersized for where he plays. But he played with heart. He played with effort. You know, these small point guards, they play with heart. The Isaiah Thomases and the Tim Frazier's, they play with heart. You know, they small, but they play hard. Markeith Morris is undersized and don't play hard. He play hard here and there when he want to. But he don't play hard. So how are you going to be undersized and not give it max effort? But that's all him. Bradley Bill, triple-double, 15 assists. What was that, 11 rebounds? 40 points? That's what I'm talking about. Now, the turnovers was half of the whole team. You know, and sometimes it was visible that they really needed a, a, a true point guard in the game. But they pushed through. They pulled through. Bradley Bill, he, he dug deep. 50-plus minutes. Pulled it out. Made some clutch threes in that third OT. So he, hey, got an and one. Got a nice reverse layup. He was playing hard. That's what that's what Wizards fans love about Brad. He, he tries. He gives effort. Majority of the time, he's giving really good effort. And that's all the fans be wanting. This is all we want. Now, Trevor Ariza, he had a good game defensively. Offensively, he shot a contested three that led to a fast break for the Suns. And he drove to the basket in OT, got the ball stripped away from him, that led to a fast break for the Suns. And he got a, a, um, a, bound, a ball under the basket. And it was a layup. And it's a difference when you Bradley Bill and you 25 for tire legs. And you Trevor Ariza and you 33 with tire legs. You can see the difference. You really can. But Ariza strapped up on defense. That's his calling card. That's all that matters. Jeff Green had a good game. Sadoransky had a good game. Ron Baker with the swap. I see you. Zach Efron. Shoot. High school musical. I see you, my guy. But... They got a game tomorrow against Indianapolis. It was a very exciting, tiring game. Triple OT. Wizards get the win. Thomas Bryant not missing a shot. Bradley Bill, triple-double. First time ever. Congratulations. Kelly Oubre, good luck to you. And that's it. Georgie.